Hi, my name is Mike Tusaw. I'm a financial advisor from St. Charles Wealth Management. Today, we're going to discuss an at-the-money calendar spread. So I want to make this as absolutely simple as possible when explaining what a calendar spread is and how it works. Let's say that we have a neutral sentiment. XYZ stocks trading at $50 per share, and we buy a three-month 50 call for $3, and we simultaneously sell a one-month 50 call for $1.50. Now, when doing this trade, our risk is $1.50. No matter what, that's the most we can possibly lose on this. Now, a couple things with a calendar spread. You can make this bullish, bearish, or neutral. We're using it as a neutral trade in this example. If you're bullish, you can do everything that we just described at perhaps the 55 strike price. If you're bearish, you can do everything at the 45 strike price or anything below 50 or anything above 50 uh, if you are bullish. Now, when doing this, uh, what you're trying to do is capture time decay differential. Now, there's a variety of reasons why people are attracted to the calendar spread, but whatever way you slice it, you're looking for time decay differential. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we believe that the front month call is going to expire at a faster rate than the back month call. So why would we think that? Well, let's say that all factors of option pricing are um, remaining neutral, stock price stays the same, and we have two options. Option number one expires in three days, and option number two expires in 100 days. Assuming no movement, option number one will lose one-third of its time value between today and tomorrow because of the fact it lost one-third of its time. Option number two will lose 1% of its time value between today and tomorrow because it lost 1% of its time. So because of that, near-term options typically expire or lose time decay at a faster rate. And that's the reason why people are attracted to calendar spreads. It's because you believe the near-term option will expire at a rate faster than the long-term option. Now, of course, this might not be the case. Perhaps there's an increase in volatility in one option and not in the other, or the stock doesn't move your way. There's risk to the trade, of course. But the main reason why people are attracted to calendar spreads is because of time decay differential. So with that being said, when doing a calendar spread, it's typically not a high profit trade. It's typically more of a lower profit, lower risk type of trade, but understand that you are at risk doing things and you need to have an understanding of when and how you should adjust your calendar spread when doing so and when to take profit on it. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe. That's how we get our content out to more people. If you're looking for a financial advisor who actually does use calendar spreads, assuming it's appropriate for the client, feel free to reach out to me, stcharleswealth.com. Also, please follow me on Twitter, at Mike Tusa. I try to put out a lot of content. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.